right guys I had stopped recording but whatever I've got here is big I mean big and I figure whatever episode I decide to work on next I'm gonna put this in here because this might be a unique of something it is really really fighting me holy crap Yeah, I haven't caught any uniques here yet, so but judging from as much as this is fighting and from what I have caught, the only thing I could possibly think that could fight this much would be a pike, but bottom, off the bottom, I, I doubt it. Man, he is really a big fish, guys. This is a big fish. Okay, he's slowly coming in, but we are... Oh, by the way, Bioshock, looks like you're going to get yourself to be a bit of a uh, star, I guess. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Bioshock987789 is here with me. See what this guy is. Oh, nice. New personal record. Thick lip gray mullet. Unique. 478 cash. Well, I tell you, I am wondering what I've got here, but I got them off of leeches, so it could be... I don't think the eels go for that. This seems a bit big for Xander. No? It's a trophy Xander, that's why. 544. Not bad. And I got another one. Raising Heck. Trophy Xander, it's my first one. Need spots, 8 LUO. Not sure what the heck that means. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I don't think this is as big as what I just caught, but. Yep, another eel. Release. <laughs> we have definitely learned our lesson on that one, haven't we? Alright, let's see. We're going to toss that right back out here. I was trying to catch some bream. I wouldn't have any luck. I did catch a bream earlier, but it wasn't a very big one. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the uh, trophy is as big as I get here, but I'm not 100% certain. Might have to check once I get this out. Let me see here. How big? How big do they get? Let's see. Now they do come in unique. Oh, Xander does come in unique. So it is possible to catch one sometime or another. Man, that would be nice. That would be nice. Alright, let's see what we can do about this float fishing thing. That's not the float fishing thing. Well. I think we're going to change our bait and maybe well, the 40 may be good enough. But I'll tell you, it seems like I have a lot of luck with these shiners for catching the Xander. 
but should I go a bigger hook? Let's put a little bit bigger hook here. Let's put a let's put a one out on there. They seem to not be out too far either, but we got to compensate for that current. Yeah, the minnows do really good. But if you're doing surface, it seems like this these shiners do well, and the Xanders seem to come closer to the top as the night goes, goes on. can't even tell which one that is. He's not that serious. Now well, he's getting that way. Let's go ahead and grab it. Of course you know that's when something's going to... God, I got two of them. This one, I think it's just regular. I'm not a hundred percent certain it's a Xander, though. He is no, it's a Xander. Yeah, I think the other one's gone. Yeah, they do like the leeches. Well, I'll be damned, I got something on here. Never saw it go down. What we got here? Another Xander? Yep. He wasn't a real big guy. Look at him. He's kind of tiny. Told you, the shiners are popular. And they're not out very far. And I got a one-out hook on this. It seems to have increased my odds a little bit. Well, for being supposedly protected and endangered, I've been catching a lot of European eels. <laughs> I mean, it seems like I catch them constantly. Okay. Okay, he may be bigger than I thought he was. He's giving a little bit of strain here. Come on. Another Xanderman. No, it's a Northern Pike. Huh. I was not expecting that. We'll keep him. Yeah, I had no idea I was going to get a Northern Pike that time. Alright, let's go ahead and bring this in. Recast.
Yeah, that's a good distance right there. May have had it a little too close. About 120 to 150 seems to be pretty good. Well, okay, it's number one. Sometimes it's really hard to tell which one it is. Yeah, if you're not making any headway, it's usually a trophy or better. This is just a regular fish. You might be on the upside of regular size, but... Still. Okay, all right, I've got gotcha. you. Okay, he's not big. Not bad. Man, it looks like we got something already here the heck yeah I went came over here to the other peg oh gosh this might be fairly big guys to give it a try I've got number two hook on this one I've got some shrimp on it okay this is a fairly big fish <clears throat> I know this is normally not quite as organized as I usually do these episodes, but I've been just fishing randomly, and anytime something interesting comes up, I figure I might as well go ahead and record it. But we have got something good size here. It looks like a unique European flounder. Nice. Very, very, very good. He's a big sucker. Let me take a look at him from here. Yeah, that's a pretty big fish. Uh, I wish you could get a little bit better into the picture, though. Oh, yeah, you can. There we go. That's nice. Go ahead and get a picture of him. Even though you're seeing the underside of him. <laughs> we will keep him, that's for sure. Yeah, I knew I had something big. As soon as I saw it, you yanked down. I hadn't been over to this peg that much before. I was thought I'd check out the wind turbines and that kind of thing. But, yeah, guys, here's the... Um, setup I have for that. I have my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my all-round 10 foot by 10 inch, my Xperia MLR 3000 reel, uh, floral 0.009 floral line, a 7 8 ounce sinker, a monoliter 0.008, and a number two hook. And all the hooks I think on this I'm, at this point, with the exception of my float rod, which has a number eight, I am using number two hooks. So this one has 0 0.011 floral line, a little bit heavier. Um, all around 12 foot by 10 inch, a little bigger. Xperia MLR 3500, a little more, a little stronger reel. One and three ounce, uh, one and three fourth ounce sinker. Another monoliter 0.0085. And on here we got dough balls. Reason I've got dough balls here is I have managed to catch quite a few bream just off of shore here. I even pulled in a unique bream. 
but this seems to be a really good hot spot. As you can see, I don't think this is a trophy or anything, but it is fairly decent fish. Let's see what we got here. Another European flounder. Now the flounder out here by the butt loads. Here we go. Yeah, I think I might have a fish on that one. It keeps moving. And it's not the wind. Let me just go ahead and give a little tug here and see. Yep, there's something on there. He's not a big fella, but we'll see what he is. Probably a perch. Oh, no! I've been wanting to get one of these guys. I've caught just about every species but this one. I know he's little, but he's... A trophy round goby. <laughs> Even at a trophy, he's only less than a half a pound, but he's an interesting looking fish. He has frog like eyes. Look at him. Pretty cool. Well, let me go ahead and keep him because he's just cool looking. So, they go for the dough balls. Number two hook. Actually, they, can't, they go for a lot of different things, from what I understand, but I, that's the first one I've caught. Here comes another boat. Looks like a barge. I hadn't even had a chance to get out my float rod yet. I was just going to try see what wax worms do over here. It seems like nothing species-wise over here goes for them. I just thought I'd see if anything does. I've got a number eight hook because I figure it's going to be something smaller. The European perch would probably go for it. Oh, wow. I saw that. Okay, let's see what this is. It's not big. <coughs> Another flounder. He's a little guy. <laughs> Real little guy. I'll try over here. I haven't tried over on this side. Looks like we got us another one on here. Same one. There we go. This one's a little bigger. Maybe. Maybe not. Thick lip gray mullet. Got another one of those guys. Yeah, they seem to be further down that way. Since they're getting a small flounder, I figured it was about time to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, I 
think I'm going to move this rod a little bit. It's not had any bites for a while. Throw it out a little further. Looks like it's number two this time. There we go. And this may be a real fish this time, guys. Let's see what this is. I think we got us a good sized bream here. There you go. Not a bad bream. And the other one's getting a bite. Perfect. And it's a fairly big fish. I think. Nah, maybe not. He's out of ways. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to call this an episode, guys. This is getting a little long. A little, you know, against the way I ordinarily do it with just the fish straight through. Just kind of put pieces of good catches together. But Truth be known, over a few times I was recording, I caught some pretty decent ones. So like I said, I caught a unique bream. Didn't think it was anything. <laughs> Lots of eels. That looks like we got us another European flounder. Boy, those guys are all over the place. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And... One of the things I want to do before I leave here, as far as I can tell, I have caught every species as of this time. I've caught the Ides. I didn't record it, but as you can see, they're highlighted which ones I've caught. Now, I have not caught a unique one yet, but I've caught just about everything else. But the round goby was the one I had not seen yet, so... All right, let's take a look. Let me show you what I'm talking about here, guys. This is what I've caught so far. As you can see, one unique common bream. Let's take a look at him. We can here. Yeah, 5.117 pounds got him with peas and it seems like I've been getting most of them with peas. I do get them with the dough balls and the semolina balls but peas seems to be their favorite. And there's that European unique European not a bad day's work. Well anyway guys as I always say aim straight, cast far and have fun I'll see you later. Bye-bye.